how frustrating is it when you miss those short putts? What I want to talk about today is ways that you can go about practicing and playing so that you're going to hold a lot more of those short putts and maybe never miss one, even though the best players do. Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I've created this golf channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you become the best, in this case, putter you possibly can be. If you like these videos, then please subscribe to them and also press the grey bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos that I send out. I mentioned I get, I'll give you three tips, but I'm actually going to give you four. I'll give you the fourth one at the end of the video. The first one is a putting gate drill. Now the key thing with short putts is that I need to be able to control the putter face more than anything else. Is if my path is out a little bit, not going to matter. With a very short putt, unless it's a severely breaking green, my green reading is not going to matter terribly much. So, but I definitely need to start the ball online and with a square putter face. So this first drill, if I use an alignment rod, now the, now the putt that I'm hitting is going to be a straight putt and what I'm going to do is put a couple of tees in the green just equal distance either side of the alignment rod there and then I'm also going to put a hole in the green so I can mark where I'm going to hit my putt from so now my putt through there should be straight at the hole so I can continue to set myself up each time and have that putt nice and straight. So the objective for me is to make sure that the putt goes straight between the two tees and into the hole. Now I can alter the difficulty of this by having my ball further from those tees or closer to the tees. I can alter it by having the tees closer together or further apart. One other thing I want you to check is that when you first set yourself up have a look at the hole. You know that the hole is in line with the tees there or the, the ball will go through those tees. But sometimes visually you might look and say, I think those tees are too far to the right or too far to the left. If that's the case, first of all, check that you're actually set up correctly. And second is it may mean that you're, the way you're perceiving the line of the putt might be a little incorrect. And you'll find that by doing this drill and trusting that when you're setting yourself up, you are setting up correctly, you'll learn to trust it and you'll also recalibrate that vision to some extent. And so you'll start to see straight putts as being straight. So that's the first drill. The second drill, and we can even incorporate it into the first, is that if I just take a coin and place it on the green, I'm going to put it right where that hole is and set my ball on top of it. Usually the challenge is to set the ball on top of the coin without it rolling off. When I set myself up, my putter face is aiming at the ball and at the hole. Again, this is for a straight putt. When I make my backswing, the, the path of the putter is going to be very slightly arced or slightly curved. So as the putter swings back, my putter face appears to open, but it's still pointing to the ball. So it'll be pointed a little bit to the right of the target because it has opened, but it's pointed to the ball. So it doesn't go back and rotate too much. And then when I swing the putter through, I want my putter head to be pointed back to that coin. The ball rolled off it, but the putter head points to the coin. So when I make my stroke, what I'm going to do is set myself up. And after I've hit the putt, I want to check, is my putter face still pointed to the coin or has it twisted one way or the other? So by practicing that, especially without a ball, if you initially notice there's too much twisting, is going to help you an enormous amount. Now getting the pace right is also critical, making a smooth stroke. So the third drill I want to show you is related to stroke length. So if I place one tee in the ground where my ball is, I'm going to place a second tee about as far back as I think I need to make my stroke for this putt. And then the third tee, I'm placing 50% further 
from the T uh, from where the ball is to this end T. So in other words, my my through stroke, my follow through, is 50% longer than my backstroke. Needs to be a little bit longer than that. There we go. So now when I swing back and through, first of all, I can have practice strokes. And does my stroke naturally finish at the end of the back T and through to the front T? And when I do that do I notice that it feels like it's going to be the right pace? That's experience. Then when I hit a putt, stop at the finish of your stroke and see whether your putter went to the NT, whether it went too far or whether it stopped short. And if you find that it's difficult to get that ratio right with backstroke and through stroke, then that's likely to affect the smoothness of your stroke. And even on a short putt, that can make a big difference. So there are the three tips. Oh, there was a bonus, I forgot. So the bonus is, what I want you to do is to hit some putts with your eyes closed. When I'm looking down at the ball here, even I can see the putter head, I can even see the hole in my peripheral vision. If I close my eyes, then all that visual distraction is gone. And so that I'm, I'm much more aware of what the putter feels like in my hands, how my body's moving, what my balance is like, what the smoothness of the stroke is. So I'm much more aware of the stroke itself rather than being distracted by seeing the putter head and, and seeing the ball and seeing the hole. So if you practice those four things and treat them as like daily drills, so you might only do them for a short period of time. When you're doing these, say particularly the first three drills, once you get the hang of them, so that might be hitting a couple of putts into the hole, then move. Because you find that that recalibration actually makes you have to think about how you're going to hold the putt. And it's constantly challenging yourself that's going to make you a better putter.